Hola, dear viewers. Yes, the flags may be out, but I'm not in Blighty. I'm in Mexico City. Oh. It's brash, it's bright, it's breath with of booze, but most of all, it's big. And if we go to Mexico, will it get better? And all the cracks inside this love, will they heal in the good weather? I think it's time to have a go. to Mexico And what better place to start my tour than here in the Zocalo, the oldest part of Mexico City. Uh, I'm just waiting for my driver now. I haven't met him yet. Uh, I do know his name, Senior Misael, and he drives a green and white Beetle. Can't be that hard to spot. Mexico City may no longer be the biggest in the world, but it's still vast enough to hold 24 million souls. Most of whom get about in these beetle cabs, known as bochos. Ah, here's mine now. Charming. Uh, what is Senor? Uh, Plaza Garibaldi. Uh, per favor. Bien. Bien, yeah. You know Plaza Garibaldi? Bien. Yeah. So mariachi. Uh, yeah, yeah, all mariachi, that. Yeah. Mucho mariachi. Okay. Yes. Mucho tequila. Mu oh. Mucho bueno. Oh, tequila. Mmm. Oh. I think mucho I found a new bueno. friend here. <laughs> uh, mi mi amo uh, Graham. Graham. Co ¿Cómo se llama? Ah, Misael. Misael Ortega. Misael. Misael Ortega. Oh. Vamos. Off we go. Very oh, good. Yeah. Plaza yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Garibaldi it is. Oh. oh my god, we're going straight into the motorway. Uh, very good! Mucho oh. <laughs> <laughs> bueno. Mucho bueno. Yes, uh, yeah. this is quite fast. That's yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Right. I am supposed to be going off to see my family, the Lunas family in Plaza Garibaldi. But right now, the chances of arriving alive seem quite slim. Ah, Garibaldi. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Oh. oh, God, don't kill a mariachi. Okay, perfecto. Muchas gracias. Uh, muchas gracias. Muchas gracias, señor Misael. So I'll see you uh, más tarde. Más yes. tarde. Yeah, okay. okay, okay, okay. Muchas gracias, señor. Hey. Okay, Hello. okay, bye-bye. Garibaldi Square is the home of the mariachi, Mexico City's own folk music industry. If you want to pick up some musicians and drive them off to your party, or you just want to sit and be serenaded al fresco, this is the place to come. It's midday now, but every night the square sweats and heaves with drinkers, dancers, strollers and musicians, all watched over by the ghosts of mariachi past, including the great Juan Gabriel, who was gay. Who would have guessed? Garibaldi is also my home for the next few nights. And as I step off the square into a sheltered courtyard strewn with sunlight and flowers, I can't help feeling I'm stepping back a century or two into an older Mexico. Hola. Hola. Señor Camelo? Sí. Ah, Señor Camelo, uh, sí. yo uh, soy Graham. Yeah. My hosts are the Luna family. And head of the house, Carmelo, and his three sons are all mariachis. Thankfully, my girl Friday, Margarita, is here too, because the Lunas speak no English, and my Spanish doesn't go much beyond buenas tardes and mucho gusto. Maricruz, mucho gusto, Graham, Graham, mucho gusto, buenas tardes. See what I mean? Carmelo lives here with his wife, Maricruz, Sister Roberta, various sons, daughters, and grandchildren, a cat, several dogs, and a lot of parrots. Regalo, regalo, Mary Cruz. I'd been warned that Mary Cruz collects dolls, 
So, like the well brought up boy that I am, I come bearing gifts. Oh. It's, it's cheddar, it's very small. It's Poquito. It's, it's, it's Poquito. Oh. <laughs> oh, and it's, oh, and it's broken as well. That's the other thing it is. Oh, lovely man. No, no, no. Oh, you see that? Yeah. Uh, how do I say, um, and I've got other presents in my bag, but I'll give them to them later. Que tiene otros regalos en su bolsa, pero se los da más tarde. Más tarde, okay. But the, there, there you go. Um, oh, no. I, I fear I bought a shoddy doll. It's for aquí. Se la coloco? ¿Dónde la quiere? Aquí. You see, yes. <laughs> you know, I'm sensing a design fall. <laughs> <laughs> Things couldn't be going better, could they? But the house is really small. And what I want to know is, where am I going to sleep? Ooh, now. So, is your camera? Is your camera? It's his camera. You're speaking Spanish to me. Sí. <laughs> See, that's it's the point room. of you. That's why you're here. <laughs> it's his room. It's his room. Yes. Okay. It's his room. Okay. Very nice. It's a very nice room. Sí. Oh, and the little sí, bird. Sí. Manuel. Oh, Manuel. Manuel. Oh, Manuel. Sí. Very nice. And where where am I going to sleep? Y Graham, ¿dónde se va a quedar? Aquí. Here in Carmelo's room. Am I sleeping with Carmelo? ¿Va a dormir con usted? No, never. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly he knows an English word. Never. <laughs> never. <laughs> so it's just me and Manuel. <laughs> you know, that might get annoying. Anyway, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Time to leave Garibaldi and the Lunas till tonight. But in Mexico City, everyone's a mariachi at heart. De la tierra, morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando. Very good, muy bien, muy bien. Mucho tráfico. Mucho tráfico, eh. Mucho calor. Calor, tráfico, and life-threatening danger. Oh, fuck oh, it. Hey, hey, hey. God. Oh, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh, public transportation, so dangerous. It seems it's not just the mariachi who type for business at the side of the road. A lot of the charm of Mexico City lies in its street economy. Everyone has something to sell, even beggars. And the motto is, if you don't stop me and buy one, I'll stop you. In a country where it's almost impossible to make an arrangement over the phone or to get a reliable time out of someone, if you do need a service, the best thing to do is to hop in your car and come down here and just pick up a plumber, an electrician, a builder, a painter. They're like rent boys, only more useful. It's brilliant, isn't it? Now, do you remember those Union Jacks we saw earlier? Well, much excitement. It turns out our very own Tony Blair is about to make a state visit to Mexico City. He'll be calling on Presidente Fox at his official residence, which is called Los Pinos, or if you're childish like me, the penis. I want to meet Tony, so I'm going to write to President e. Fox using one of the best street services available, a pavement typist. Gracias. Oh, perfecto. Um, does she know does she know where the penis is? Um si ubica en los pinos. La dirección de los pinos. De los pinos. El presidente? Sí, el presidente. She knows the address. Yes. Perfecto. Okay, uh, dear President Fox. Estimado Presidente Fox. Good news. Tengo buenas noticias. President Tony Blair's trip. El viaje del presidente Tony Blair. Will not be as boring as you feared. No será tan aburrido como usted había temido. Because I, Graham Norton. Graham Norton, y se escribe G R A H A M espacio eh, apellido N mayúscula O R T O N Graham Norton. 
the world famous personality. Personalidad reconocida mundialmente. Uh, is in Mexico City. Está en la Ciudad de México. I look forward to meeting you. Espero felizmente conocerlo. And seeing your penis. Y ver a los pinos. Oh, she's putting a rubber on the penis. Best wishes, Graham Norton. Atentamente, Graham Norton. And it's T O N. That should do the trick. Just time to post my letter. Then it's off to one of Mexico City's huge markets for a spot of shopping. Uh, now, this is Sonora Market, and it's my lovely friend Kayla. Look Hi, at Kayla. Hello. And uh, now, what makes this market so special? The witchcraft. The witchcraft? Yeah. So these are, what, these are cures? Yeah, I think like for special herbal teas. Or you drink tea made out of yeah. that? Yeah. In England, we use that to start a barbecue. It's very nice. <laughs> These sprays. Oh, there's yeah. a lovely, there's a gay spray and a lesbian spray. Oh yeah. So now, do they make you gay or do they stop you being gay? Y, y uno deja de ser gay o lo hace gay. Ah, it's just, it's just to attract more men. You just to attract more men. More men. Just I'm just reading the instructions, pop, you pop know. Put my, my gay spray <laughs> in there. Oh, tell me the instructions. What are the instructions? Here? It's like extremely flammable. Keep from heart or flame. Oh my god. Particularly old flames. Yeah. Oh look, here's one of the other ones. What are these? With, with this one, you can attract bishops to you. What, what does this spray help with? It's a, it's a cock spray. Really? Yeah. So is this more powerful than the gay spray? I think so, because it's magic, you know? No, seriously, what does it do? She says that here it says that it helps you to clean cock. It helps you to clean cock. Yeah, it does. They've really thought this through. It's a witchy wonderland of anus candles, voodoo dolls, sodomy spells, and haunted Hello Kitties. For Mexicans, despite their deeply held Catholic religion, are obsessed with witchcraft and the whole cult of the macabre. Here, the most revered festival is the Day of the Dead, when families sit with skeletons at dinner in place of dead relatives. The cultural hit of the summer is a must-see exhibition of torture techniques, reminding you that the Spanish Inquisition still cuts deep in the Mexican psyche. And everywhere you look, magazines and newspapers are full of terrible car accidents and murders in graphic detail. Yes, the Mexicans have a huge appetite for gore, which takes me to my next stop. This is Mexico's premier museum of wax. But as you'd expect in a country where the Day of the Dead is bigger than Christmas, well, it's all a bit grim. We begin with a lovely exhibit of a tourist who's eaten some lettuce. Follow me. Oh, oh, no, oh, this is good. This is amazing. It's like being in the film Exorcist. Look at that. It's uncanny. Now, watch her move now. Oh, there she goes. Oh, it's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> this is slightly mysterious. I'm guessing we're on Elm Street. Right? There's Elm Street. Sure enough, there's Freddy Krueger. But for some reason, Freddy Krueger in this version of the film has a pet <laughs> velociraptor. It must have been a special Spanish version for Mexico. Meanwhile, in the kitchen of the local cantina, we can see this. <laughs> Brace yourselves. Yes, it is the living dead. Most of her is found in a salad. The state of that. And so it goes on. Skeletons, ghouls, dissections and torture. Fun for all the family. As I drive home, I'm left with a very Mexican sense of mortality and the fragility of life. Not helped by Senor Misael's driving. He 
here, a really frightening thing is, it's not just Mr. Missile, no one stops at red lights. And if you think that's bad, the reason why is even more frightening. Apparently, I'm told, it's because if you do stop at a red light at night, someone will jump into the car and, well, mug you at gunpoint. Nice. And so, back to the peace and tranquility of the Luna's house. The grandchildren are still up, and I'm pleased to see that the Mexican obsession with skeletons starts at an early age. And fear not, viewers, I won't be sleeping alone tonight. No, Carmelo is kind enough to put all the parrots in my room with me. But if you thought parrots and children were the only things to stop me getting to sleep tonight, think again. In the Luna's house, Friday night is band practice night. next gig is a birthday party the day after tomorrow. The good news is that Carmelo has asked me to go with them. The bad news is that I have to dress as a mariachi. Time to try on my stylish outfit. to be in dungarees now. Yes. <laughs> it's a lovely end, my first day in Mexico City. And I'm ready for sleep. Sadly, the rest of the family isn't. Look, when Margarita and the crew leave, everything becomes a nightmare, right? I thought they were saying, we're going to bed. Do you want to go to bed? So I said, yes. I kept, shut up. So I said, yes, I'll go to bed. It's been an hour. They're still in there, they're still playing, there are children in there, and now I'm, I'm trapped in here with you, Manuel. And um, I've had a thought. Maybe the reason no one's going to bed is because there's nowhere to sleep. Because Carmelo showed me around. And well, there's this bedroom that I'm in, there's Mario's room, so that's Mario's. But there's about 12 people out there all going to go to bed. Um, and tomorrow, there's only a little gap behind the dining room. Shut up. No. There's only a... Shut up. There's only a gap behind the dining room. And there's like a little hole, and they all go in there. And well, that's, I think, where they're all sleeping, just in piles. I'm sort of in the Luna's presidential suite. I would so like to kill you. Would they miss you, Manuel? I doubt it. I could just say you're behind the dining room, wouldn't I? Yes. Kill you. Yes. Kill you. <whistles> Fuck, it's tempting. And if we go to Mexico...